We begin with breaking news. West 2 News has obtained a new jailhouse conversation between the millionaire accused of murdering his wife and one of their daughters. West 2's Bob Keeling with the breaking details. And Bob, you've been listening to the tapes. What's the tone here? Well, Jim, it's interesting. After all the controversy about Ward's conduct and his video visitations, listen to how calm and collected he is in this newly released phone call. This is newly released audio of murder suspect Bob Ward's early jailhouse phone call to one of his adult daughters. From calm and collected Bob Ward to dancing. No remorse. Family wasn't in mourning. This is not reality at all. Psychologist Deborah Day has testified in 600 criminal trials. She says the people involved have obviously been coached not to talk about the criminal case. So that leaves kind of this artificial void between them in their communications. So they're going to try to fill it in. They're going to try to act like nothing's going on. I see this type of behavior and activity very frequently. Defense attorney Richard Hornsby says Ward's conduct after arrest, short of admitting his guilt, cannot be used against him. Clearly, he says all involved knew not to bring up what happened to Diane Ward. The thing that I found the most shocking of, of everything is the fact that this woman's own biological sister was there in support of him. And Hornsby says Ward may be jumping the gun by saying he expects a judge to grant him a bond this week. What is going to be a sufficient bond to ensure that he returns to court, considering that most of his family ties are in Atlanta? So, Bob, it's hard to believe that uh, what we've seen on video could be described as anything but unusual or even inappropriate. Well, Jim, that's how most we've talked to see it. However, Hornsby takes a more sympathetic view that Ward and his daughter were only trying to comfort each other in an obviously trying situation. Jim. Bob Keeling in the newsroom. Thanks a lot.